Welcome back everybody, I'm Tassie and I've had a lot of people ask me how do I make my sesame rice balls that I like to eat. So I'm just going to do a little quick video on how I make them. I've written down the ingredients and recipe many times, but I always get questions on it. So I just want to do a quick video before I actually start to eat. So for my rice balls, I basically just use, this is like a little less than a cup of cooked rice. It's just regular white rice. And this part is optional. So carrots here, normally I don't have carrots on hand, but when I do have carrots, I like to add it in here. And this is uncooked and I just cubed them really tiny. So these are fairly small. I'm just going to pour it in here. And I've, you know, like just know with the carrots and really whatever you put in here, it's really up to you because I've seen people put tuna in there as well. So it's again, really up to you. And now this is going to be your seasoned seaweed paper that I like to use and you can use it really any brand this is just the one I picked up at the Korean market and they're basically already shredded so for this I kind of just add whatever like however much I want to eat and these are all like little tiny pieces of shreds so I just like to add a bit I like to eat a lot of it <laughs> all right now, what I also add is sesame seeds because I really like sesame seeds and it really adds flavor to it. And I like to pour quite a bit. I like a lot of sesame seeds. So if you don't like this much, you don't have to have it. All right, now the next part is gonna be just sesame oil and Japanese mayo. And that's really it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And you wanna be really careful with how much, especially with sesame oil you put in there because if you put too much, the rice has a hard time forming because it's so moist and wet. So I really only pour just a little bit. And again, this is like almost a cup of cooked rice. So it's like less than a teaspoon, <laughs> just very, very little. Now with the Japanese mayo, you can be more, ooh, yeah, with the Japanese mayo, you, you can put more if you want in here. But again, don't put too much that or else it becomes way too wet. And so I think with the Japanese mayo, a lot of people like to add in the tuna in here as well, like canned tuna and stuff like that, because it's kind of like the onigiri balls that I like to eat as well. That's why. All right, there you go. And then you just mix it and you know, and you can use your bare hands too if you want, but to start, I always like to use a spoon. And then after you've mixed the batter, if you find that you know it's not as moist as you'd like or you found that you want more of this or that just add it in here it, you know I mean like this is really just a hodgepodge of everything you know like and that's what makes the balls and you know some people they just eat it the way it is or else you could put it in a bag and form a shape and then eat it to go now the Japanese mayo is also something that is optional I have made my sesame seed balls here without the Japanese mail. Whoops. Just dropping stuff left and right. I prefer it with the Japanese mail. Um, so, you know, it's really up to you and your taste what you like and what you don't like. And this carrot's not even mine. I had to go, <laughs> that was actually from my boyfriend's house. I told him I needed a carrot and he had carrots and bring it to me. So he dropped off one carrot for me. <laughs> okay. So now that it's mixed, you just form your balls. And with the balls here, I just grab how much I think I want and normally I have a glove but I just moved you guys I hardly can find my own clothes I really don't know where it's at in my kitchen so I'm just gonna use my bare hands which is clean and plus I'm the only one eating this all right so then you just put it in your palm here and you just really just form the shape of the ball and I do use a spoon to kind of help keep the shape as well and remember if you put too much sesame oil or too much mayo it's gonna fall apart. It's not gonna keep its shape. Ta-da! And kids love to eat this as well, just so you know. And I've made them bigger before as well, but then, you know, it's really just, 
whatever size you want for them, how you want to eat it. All right, that's it. So I'm going to go and make the rest of this and then I'm going to get all my food together and then we're going to eat. Welcome back you guys. So now that we've made my rice balls and if you forget, go back and check out that part of the video. Now for dinner tonight, I decided to do something a little spicy and I wanted to be more Korean based. So I've been craving a lot of Korean side dishes and what I have here is going to be their fish cakes. So this is their fish cake and I made it really spicy because do you guys remember how I did that video with the chicken wings and the squid? And I just got this at, from Amazon. It's their capsaicin, capsaicin sauce and it is super hot. So what I did was I poured it into both of these dishes because the original recipes for the rice cake and this is going to be, um, this is the rice cake over here. So the original recipe for rice cake and for the fish cake, it's never spicy enough. And I'm like going crazy trying to spice it up. Like I don't want to just add a bunch of Thai pepper in there. I wanted something to really go with it. So the capsaicin sauce here goes with it perfectly. So it's really, really spicy. So this is just fish cake again, and this is rice cake, and this is their pickled radish, and then this is kimchi. So, yeah, so <laughs> spicy. Mm -hmm. And with the fish cake here, I made these at home. It's just the kimchi and the, the pickled radish here I bought. But for the fish cake, it has uh, carrots in here and red bell peppers. And I know some people, they like to put onion in here. I'm not a huge onion fan, especially with these side dishes here, so I didn't put any in there. And I'll write in the description box how I made both the rice cake and the fish cake. Mm. And the rice cake dish is my favorite. One of my favorites for the side dishes. Now, it's pretty rare I actually eat rice cake on my show, only because I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, it's the texture. It's really soft and kind of gooey, but um, I wanted to make something I haven't had in a while. And my favorite South Korean mukbanger, he keeps eating it, so I kept watching him and then I had the idea that I wanted to eat it again just to see. So this is a really spicy version because I put that sauce in here. Yeah, rice cakes don't really do anything for me. Yeah, and I know that and sometimes people like to put this with quail eggs and the fish cake. But I wanted to make it separate. Just because with my fish cake, I put a bit of corn syrup in there. and rice wine. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of rice cakes. I'll eat it if it's deep fried. I should have deep fried it. Mm. 
this is just sheets of um, seaweed wrapper and they're toasted already. I want that's a rice ball in there. <clears throat> Come on, break off. I could not, I could just eat this like all day. <laughs> mm. Mm <clears throat> and I'll put some fish cake in here. Mm -mm. <sighs> it's starting to get spicy. I and of course, this is optional. You guys don't need the sauce here. I just like my food to have a really good kick to it. And you know they say that spicy food is a really good stress reliever. So if you're really stressed, you should eat spicy foods. But um, I'm not really always stressed. I just I like to eat spicy foods. <laughs> mm. 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 I keep trying to convince myself that the rice cake is really good. Mm -mm. Oh, baby knees. She 
she loves to eat these. Not with the rice balls, but my sister just makes it with rice and seaweed. I keep thinking I'm gonna like it. <laughs> it's just that chewiness, like rice. It's almost like bland, like. And I think a lot of people really like it. I've had them at restaurants. I've had other people make it for me. I've, I've just never liked it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting pretty full though because of the rice. <laughs> I want to eat my rice though. <laughs> Okay, one more rice ball and I think I'm done. Mm -mm -mm. This was really good. You know, it's just I'm kind of being a brat about the rice about the rice cake, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to pull like I finished that. <laughs> well, at least now I have a lot of side dishes for other dishes coming up. My rice cake, I can always leave and eat as a side dish for another meal. And the rice cakes, I'm probably going to... I'm sorry, the fish cakes, I'm going to save for another meal. And the rice cake, I'm not going to eat again. 
I'm gonna deep fry them next time. Deep frying them tastes much better. Whew, my mouth's on fire. Thanks for watching, you guys.